everyone welcome to automators industrial projects in this lesson we will discuss about stl rlo and stm so what is stl stl is a textual programming language that can be used to create the code section of logic blocks and you can optimize the runtime and the use of memory it is similar to the machine code and when there is a complex task it's better to program in stl because we have many options like indirect addressing or pointers and etc so let's see here on the comment box i have just given a small information about rlo and sta what is rlo it's a result of logical operation and sta is a status of logical operation so if you define it here you can also see the sta stores the value of bit that is referenced and bit and bit 1 of the status word is result of logic operation so i think i could explain you here in the program if you see here and m1.0 is equal to m1.1 so let's make it this let's in apply the external trigger to m1.0 to change its status and rlo you see when i triggered m1.0 to low the sta and rlo of the contacts become zero in the second example let's trigger m2.0 the status is 1 and the result of logic operation 1 for the first network and when we move to second network here we have used the normally closed contact for m2.0 and its status is changed to 0 because when we apply an external trigger to a normally closed contact it will convert to normally open so the status is 0 and the result of logic operation is 1 and when you make the when you make the and operation of the status and rlo you are getting 0 which is indicating that the output coil is zero so let's see in detail in this word document i have just prepared uh, using the ladder and steel so that so that you people can understand easily so let's clear here that in ladder you will not see this rlo and sta just for your understanding i have prepared this when i don't apply any of the external trigger to this m1.0 or the contact the status is still 0 and RLO is 0 and making the output coil low or keeping the output coil low so when I apply external trigger and changing the bit status to 1 and the, the RLO is also 1 so this 1 and 1 is making the output M1.1 as high or 1 hope this is clear to you guys and then in the next condition here you see the bit or contact status is changed to 1 and the RLO is also 1 that is the result of logic operation till this green part can it's a just simple in simple language if you see from here I applied the, the external trigger to this bit and till this part you see the green that means uh, the RLO and status is 1 that's why till this part we are healthy or towards the coil and here the M1.0 was initially closed contact and when there was an external trigger it has changed its state from normally closed to normally open and that's why the STA status is 0 and RLO is 1 but if we make an operation here or the check from status and RLO 0 and 1 and this is giving the output M1.0 as 0 and even this green color indication shows you where the output was 0 so just I make it in ladder here you see here just if you see here the status is 0 and RLO is also 0 we just convert it back you see our status is 0 RLO is 0 and the complete thing is 0 here so thank you for watching this video if you like this please subscribe and share the video thank you i will keep updating with the new videos